That is my wallet, isn't it? Well, I think your name is on all of the IDs, yes. And why is it in your hand? Well, I uh, needed change for a tin, and I was hoping that... Well, I'm sorry, I was hoping that maybe you had it. Do you? Yes, you're in luck. Well, 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 I guess I am. <laughs> Thanks. Where's the ten? Ten? Oh, of course. Ten. It's over here in my purse. I'll get it for you. Hello? Uh, Kelly Kramer, please. Speaking. Oh, sorry, I didn't recognize your voice. This is Stephen Winwood. I wanted to follow up on our discussion of the other day. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you say Mr. Winwood? I, I don't remember speaking to a Mr. You Winwood. Gosh. Why did you do that? That telemarker, he called again. I mean, he should know better than to call here again. I want you to leave. I need that videotape. Don't make me call the cops, Max. Jakar, that tape is the one piece of hard physical evidence that can tie RJ to the kidnappers. And I'm supposed to take that as gospel. When you fall all over yourself apologizing to RJ for thinking he had anything to do with the kidnapping, the next day you went here ransacking his office. Where will you be tomorrow? Right where I need to be, if you will help me. Forget it. Uh, Jakar, please, just think about this, just for one second, okay? Why would I risk busting in here if I wasn't sure that that tape was the key to this whole stinking business? Well, it's not here. Which means it's got to be at RJ's place. You're not just asking me to find some videotape. You're asking me to go behind the back of the man I love and trust. No way! Wouldn't you like to prove me wrong? I don't need to prove anything. That's not what I see in your eyes. Not even for your own peace of mind? You have questions about RJ. I know it. You're wrong. Well, then you look me in the eye. You turn around, look me in the eye, and you swear to me that there's not one shred of doubt about RJ left in your gut. I'm I just have to help myself, won't I? Is this uh, Taya Delgado? The Taya Delgado, who I've been calling morning, noon, and night, hoping that she was back in town. Near as I can tell. How are you, Andrew? I'm wonderful now that you're back. I want to see you. I'm going to get there as soon as I possibly can. Maybe... We'd better slow down. Hey, how did you know I was home? None of your business. You bribed the clerk at the front desk again, didn't Wouldn't you? you like to know? What, you gave up the penthouse to come here? Oh, granted, it is no penthouse, but it's a step up from the room I had before. I, uh, I asked Renee to move me into a suite while I was gone. I figured I'd need the extra space if I was going to be here for a well, while. You don't need to be here at all, Tay. You know that. Oh, please, Look, don't start. I just walked in the four door. Four weeks, that's all I'm saying. You come back four weeks, you give it another shot, okay? If it works out, that's great. And if it doesn't, then you're free. Ah. Uh, this is a good deal for you. Yeah. You always have my best interests at heart. No, sometimes I think about me and what, what I want. And I've thought about this, and, and I want this. You're, you're different. We well, you are. You've hung in there like nobody else ever has. Okay, you split. But I respect that because I know who it is you split from. Exactly. So you agree with me. You would two twists. 
insisted to stay with Yeah, Todd. but you knew that going in. Point well taken. It'll be different this time, all right? No, no surprises. Hey. Four weeks. Take. Could be good weeks. I don't know, Todd. I don't know. Well, you got nothing to lose. And let's face it, the only way you're going to get rid of me is to come back to me. One Life to Live, brought to you by... We'll make the difference in your life forever. With music by Coolio, Dangerous Minds, ABC Sunday. I think this is a discussion best left to our attorneys. What, there's nothing to discuss. I'm telling you what to do. All right, look, I, I know that I'm no prize, right? But, but, but Shorty's a good kid. Oh, please. Don't, don't use the, uh, for the sake of the child line, Well, you okay? can see how much she misses you. I miss her, too. Well, then come back. At, at least long enough for you to explain how you're not going to be her mommy anymore. I was never her mommy. Blair was, is, and always will be. Yeah, biologically. She's not pure malice, Todd. Difficult as that is for me to admit. Well, you never hear me admit it. You have to admit she proved that she has a heart. She did not lie to Bo. She didn't even claim a loss of memory about the night Barbara Graham was raped. If she had, you'd be back in Statesville and Star would be living with Dorian now. Only that's not the way it went. Blair told the truth. The question is, why? Because she's one cola short of a six-pack, that's why. <laughs> It never fails to astound me how consistent you are. You truly believe the worst of everyone, including yourself. Oh, I'm realistic. Well, then maybe you need a reality check. I, I don't know what that means. Uh, well, I, what I mean is that Blair deserves a little credit, Todd. But you obviously have never considered giving her any. Why don't you find out why Blair let you off the hook? Who knows, it might help you appreciate her. Or is that concept too far up the evolutionary ladder of human behavior for you to even grasp? Give the kid a nap. You're leaving Star with me? Yeah, why not? Trust you. I gotta go. It's kind of an extreme reaction to a telemarketer, don't you think? Kelly, those telemarketers, they absolutely drive me crazy. Where I'm the one who took the call. Uh, wait, here is your tin. So what are you up to today? I am going to get some money for the whales. Ex excuse me? I have signed on as a volunteer fundraiser for the Living Ocean Project. They're out in California, and they're doing fantastic work with sea lice and protecting it, especially with the whales. Well, well then let me be the first to make a big donation here. Here is $10 for the whales. You know, Kelly, I think that this is just a tremendous project for you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh-huh. Where is this? Gosh. Yes, Mr. Winwood's room, please. Oh, Mr. Winwood, hi. I'm Kelly Kramer. How many of you are there? Oh, Mr. Winwood, I am so sorry about before. That was, that was my cousin who hung up on you, Blair Daimler. I mean, she's always pretending to me, to be me, and she does it all the time. It's a, it's a jealousy thing. Really? Yes, it's awful. I mean, she always tries to take advantage of me or tries to hurt me in some way, so that's why I would like, well, all of our business dealings from now on to be strictly confidential. Of course. Uh... Now, Mr. Armitage's funds are ready for transfer, so I'll need your account information as soon as possible. Well, I should have it ready for you today. Uh, shall I meet you at your hotel later? I'll wait for your call. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to be rich. A moi, a moi. Yes! Yes! <sighs> 
inside here, Max, is going to have a pen in it very soon, and it is also going to be able to write down and take care of all of mine and Dorian's financial problems forever. What's wrong with you? What happened? I went home. Just can't hack it, you know? Too many pictures of my kids. Their eyes seem to follow me wherever I go. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I'm flipping out. I swear I spend one more minute in that house, I'll have to go out and kill somebody. Oh, get a little of that lady, Clint. One fine woman. Mm. Uh, Bo, what's the latest on those East Side robberies? Well, Bo, take a gander that doll over there. Mm. Mm. Another bodega was hit over on Esperanza Street. And I'll tell you, whoever's pulling this off, they got some brass. These guys go right into a store knowing it has a security camera. It's like they're begging us to nail them. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh Lordy, what a waste. Pretty little gal there. A saddle with a dull little wimp. Look. Well, that could be her account. Don't encourage him, Bo. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know what she's pining for. A real man. A man like my son, Clint. Here we go. I want you to go over there and grab a genuine armful of a woman instead of mooning over that basket case of an ex-wife of yours. Hey, why don't you put a sock in there? Hey, I'll tell you what. Thinking on her worst day is more woman than any armful in this room or any place else, all right? So what are you gonna do without? You know what they say, Clint? Use it or lose it. Paw. Uh, <clears throat> Buchanan. Hey, Red. Where are you? You already on the road? Uh, he's he's, right, right, he's riding the winner. Listen, I was just thinking about uh, what I like to do when you uh, get back. Listen to him. <laughs> yeah, he can love that. to his wife and she's <laughs> not even in the building. Well, you let that that uh, field of yours lie fallow. I love you. How long can you go without getting behind a plow? Bye-bye. OK, what's that uh, sweet little grin about? Gentlemen. <clears throat> I just happen to be married to the greatest woman in the whole world. <laughs> got her, got my good health, got a job I love. <laughs> the job, if I could just nab whoever it was that uh, kidnapped Max's kids. I swear, what keeps gnawing at me is if R.J. Gannon is behind all of this and he gets away with it, I don't think I'm ever going to feel right again. I didn't expect you so soon. Um, I decided to come a little early. What? What's all this for? Obviously, it's for you. I don't know what to say. Well, then, don't say anything. Just sit. sip of this and leave the words to me. And there are three that just keep rushing to the front of my mind. I love you. RJ. I know, I know, you've heard them before and you will hear them again because you are far and away the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I know I've said that before too. You don't have to say anymore. But I want to. I need to. If someone had asked me a year ago, or even three months ago, if I thought I would wind up with a woman like you, I'd have said, sure, why not? But inside, I would have been thinking, no way. Why? I didn't think I deserved a woman like you. Well, because of all the bad things you've been into? I figured what I did was who I was, and there was no changing any of it. The past is like a, a prison, and I was locked in with all my mistakes and rotten choices. Then I met you. Seems like a long time ago. <laughs> long enough for me to start to believe what you've shown me. Which is what? 
the past is a prison only if you want it to be. Can you change what's on the books? No. But you can definitely change what's to come. And I know that because you've changed the way I look at things. You've changed my future. In fact, you have become my future. So, I got you something. And there are five words that go with it. Chikara, will you marry me? I wasn't expecting this. So soon? <laughs> if something's right, why wait? I... I need time to think about it. Why? Is something wrong? I'm just surprised, that's all. Things just come at you from out of the blue, and a couple of those things I need to work out in my mind. Can I ask what they are? Just stuff from the past. My past. See, I'm with you 100% on what you said. You do have to resolve the past in order to have a clean shot at the future. No, those weren't exactly my words. Well, I just need a little time. That's cool. Take as much time as you want. RJ, you... Yeah? Whoa, 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 slow down. Now, what happened? Okay, I'm on my way. That's Rachel. Somebody broke into the club. The front door's Jimmy. Well, you were just there. Did you notice anything? No, it must have happened after I left. A broad daylight break. Well, the club is full of people at night. What? I was just thinking about my new best friend, Max Holden. I mean, he comes over here and sweet talks me into thinking he's taken me off his short list of baby killers, but maybe he hit the club to look for that videotape. It wouldn't matter even if he did. What do you mean? There's no videotape for him to find, right? It doesn't exist. No. No, it doesn't. There's just that uh, music video I told you about, and I already sent that back to L.A. So, I better get over to Indigo. Will you wait for me? Good. Who knows, maybe when I get back, you will have an answer for me. Maybe so. Just tell me where to put her. Andrew. Oh, 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 she remembered my name. Lord, it's a miracle. It's an excellent sign. So's that. Is this visit considered official business? Yeah, I'm officially thrilled to see you. Does that count? I'll accept that. But I, I know, it's not smart to come here in full uniform, but mm -mm. I missed you. I missed you. Oh, the feeling's very mutual. So, uh, this is, uh, this is sweet. Star gave you one of her dolls, huh? Uh, actually, no, it's, it's still her stars in the bedroom. Uh, I guess Todd couldn't trust her with anyone else. So he's been here already. He just came to the door and... You let him in? That's the perfect metaphor for the whole relationship. He comes to the door and you let him in. Taya, don't you see how the man is manipulating you? Killing somebody is nothing to joke about. Do you see me smiling? Please tell me you didn't shoot RJ. No, I didn't shoot RJ. 
But you didn't get the videotape away from him either, did you? Oh, hey, what is my pathetic little project compared to what you have in the works, huh? How many billions you're looking to uh, sleaze away from Kelly? Max, you know damn well that I need that money. Hey, fraud is fraud. A few hours ago. Hey, anything goes when it comes to protecting a child. Seems like ancient history now. You know, I probably wouldn't even be going through all of this mess if you hadn't have given me the confidence to go after Star. My plan is, and if it goes as scheduled, I'll be able to whisk Star out of this town and hire an army of lawyers so I don't have to bring her back in here. And that is my dream. You know, you wouldn't have needed a nickel of Ian's money if you'd nailed Todd when you had the chance. No, you had to get all soft and gooey and back up his alibi. It was the right thing to do. Either that or you don't want your daughter back as much as you said. Well, excuse me, Mr. Doting Father, but don't you have a son somewhere that you managed to never see? I think I've had enough of this low blow festival. Keeping me. Funny. At least I get this off of you. At least I got you a smile. Yeah. Does that mean you're gonna hit me again? Well, it's just something you don't see every day. Look, Blair, there's about two people in this world to make me smile. You're, you're exactly half of them. Me? Why me, I wonder? <clears throat> I don't know. You're Infectious. It's it's uh, you know like an open running pussy disease. What do you want? I want an answer. <sighs> to what? A riddle. You hate my guts. Could have put me in Statesville for the rest of my life, and you didn't, and I don't know why. I've told you a million times, but you just don't believe me. I'll give it another shot. I told Bo the truth because it was the right thing to do. You know, I haven't been a fan of yours lately, but still, sending you to prison for something that you didn't do, especially when that something is a rape, well, is that too hard to accept? Actually, yeah. <sighs> Kyo, come on, Todd. It's not like I've been rotten all of my life and this is the one nice thing I ever did. All right, well, okay, you've seen me pull some nasty stunts. It's not like I didn't do it for good reasons, though. No, revenge is a good reason. Well, you would want to get even, too, if you always ended up alone. Maybe that's why I did it. Because well, you were alone? Yeah, because I was alone. I didn't have a mother, a father, or brothers and sisters. From the get-go, I've had to take care of myself. Well, you know what? I would like for once to be taken care of, to feel safe and secure. Yeah. I couldn't just dream up this happy family, so I just went after 
The next best thing. Money. Power. Clothes. Whatever helped me forget where I came from, then I had nobody. Well, you never forget anything. No, I don't forget. But then the miracle happened. We made Star. And I, I wasn't alone anymore. I think maybe that's the reason I told Bo the truth for Star as much as I did for you. I, I don't know what you mean. I want Star to have a mother that she can be proud of. And I think doing the right thing maybe pushed me in that direction. Hmm. Guess you never know. Do you remember how we were before Todd? Most pathetic, land views losers, the town outcasts, huh? Alone together? Yeah, I remember. Well, I don't want to be that sad, hard woman anymore. I want to be soft and gentle. I want to be a real mommy to my little girl. I want to deserve her. But I got a long way to go. I do. I'll admit that, I do. But I want it. God, I really do want it. This isn't exactly the welcome home I had in mind. Well, if I had had the first crack, things might have gone a little more smoothly. You can't be jealous. Jealous? No, I'm not jealous, but I'm disappointed. Well, you throw bet. in unfair while you're at the it. The man plays you like a fish on a line. Oh, and I suppose stars the bait. She's awfully tough to resist, Tam. Eh? Why should I resist her? She's a wonderful little girl. Yes, yeah, she is, whose, whose father is using her to stay connected to you. Did it ever occur to you that maybe the connection is simply between me and Star? Yes, it's true. I admit it. I love her to pieces. And it's also true that she's Todd's daughter. But it ends there. God, I wish I could believe that. I really do. Andrew, look at, look at where I am. I'm not in the penthouse. I'm here. And here's why I'm, where I am staying. Because Todd is not part of my life anymore. Well, that sounds great to me. Sounds good. Yeah, you don't sound so convinced. Well, I'm though. not. And I would be lying to you if I said that I was. Hey, you go away. You say you're going to figure stuff out. Now, if you come back and tell me the decision is you're not taking him up on the offer, that you're going to go take him to court, then I am here for you. I am here with flowers every day at the door. But it is clear that you are still emotionally attached to this man. <sighs> Star is the proof. She wouldn't be here. He wouldn't have brought her over here. You wouldn't be taking care of her if you had truly forgotten about Todd. Then make me. Make me forget. What drives me crazy is I've got all these bits and pieces that uh, hint towards whoever might be behind this. But as far as I'm concerned, they all point right to RJ again. I just can't put it together. There's something you can put together. A paw enough. Clint, one night with that little filly, you will stand up and cheer. Mark my words. I'm supposed to be taking advice from the man who married Blair Daimler and Alex Olenoff? Olenoff. 
Looks like you could use a little loving. Excuse me. Hey, Max. Hey. Got a problem? Yeah, I got a problem. You see, a good friend of mine is hurt right now. Really? Who is it? Max, I'm worried about you. Last time our paths crossed, I had to get between you and R.J. Gannett. Oh, that was the grand finale. I've seen the error of my ways. That's so. Oh, yeah. I by R.J.'s apartment last night, apologize for the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave all this investigating up to uh, you pros. That's what you've been trying to get me to do all along, right? Yeah, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. I don't believe it. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Scout's honor. I'm out of the vigilante business. Yeah, just... Uh, eats up too much time and it's really not working you know max it's not good to cut yourself off from your friends when things get rocky who's cut off got my drink here got my chair got this nice table got lovely company over here i pay hey, i got everything i could ask for hey max look i know what you're going through right now you know what you just can't it because you're as clueless about me as you are about this case. Oh, honey. Oh, did you wake up in the other room scared because no one was with you? Yeah. Honey, I'm so sorry. Oh. Here's your doll. Why don't you take her in the other room and she'll keep you company till your daddy comes, okay? Okay, sweetie. Oh, maybe you should go before we get any, any more trouble, okay? I'll tell you, there doesn't have to be any more trouble. And I am gonna go. There's something that I need to take care of. I've been meaning to do it for quite a while. And when I'm done, I'm gonna come back here. Is that all right? I think I could handle it. You're right, Max. I don't know what it's like inside your skin. But I do want to help you. Oh, well, so you say. Look, I'll do anything to help make this easier for you. Oh, yeah? Well, then why don't you go over to RJ's apartment and get that videotape? Because that's what you can do for me. In fact, that's the only thing. <laughs> Otherwise, stay away from me. Right. Oh, long time, Andrew. <laughs> yes, thanks for uh, seeing me at such short notice. Well, it was virtually no notice. You had me worry. Something wrong? Well, that would depend on your point of view. I've made a very tough decision, Bishop. About? The ministry. I want to set aside my pastoral duties for a while. <laughs> what do you mean, set them aside? Bishop McBride. I need to take a sabbatical. A 
effective immediately. I got you some flowers because you're a girl and girls like flowers. Oh. Oh. See, I wasn't the first to have that stupid idea. Oh, hey, don't be that way, Todd. They're gorgeous. Yeah, well, they'll be gorgeous trash. Come on, kid, let's go. Look, Taya, I'm, 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 not, I'm not good at, at, at courting. Is that what this is, courting? Yeah. But I'll get better at it. Look, I want you to come back, and you know how I am when I want something. Come on, let's go. That one good, huh? I mean, she, she didn't throw anything. She didn't, she didn't spit at me or, or, or yell or anything. You wait until you, you see what I'm going to do tomorrow. Jakara! You make any uh, life-altering decisions while I was gone? I know it was only a half an hour, but hey, things can happen. Fast. Thank you. 